Hi and welcome back. We are behind the scenes to interview two cast members in the short amateur film Super Nerds. A short film about a group of teenage nerds who decide to dress up as either superheroes or supervillains. And here's one of the uh, cast members right now. Thanks for joining us, David. You're welcome. It's been a real blast working on set, and I hope to do more in the future. Well, that's an interesting costume. Do you think you could tell me about your character? My character is an entity of justice. He's a master fighter of the Bow Staff. His name is Shaft. Okay, Shaft. You know, that reminds me of a 70s cop show. Anyway, what were your first thoughts when you were first picked for this role? I was a bit off guard about the name at first, but when I got into character, I bonded with him. I became him. I was him. No offense, but why do you keep using that voice? So I can stay in character, even off camera. And also, it sounds really cool. Well, do you think you could stop using it? It's starting to get old really quick. Okay, do you have any more questions for me? On second thought, go back to the other voice. Alright, now. Any more questions? So, how does the director treat you? I am the director. Oh. So how do the cast and crew members treat you? Pretty well, actually. Even though I have a weird superhero name. Then I take that the original idea of the character wasn't yours? That's right. The concept actually came from my cameraman. So where did he get, where did he get the concept? He actually thought, what would happen if you combined Donatello with Batman? Well, thank you for coming, David. Call me Shaft. Alright, Shaft. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, justice awaits. Coming out, we will be interviewing the villain of the film. Stay tuned, we'll be... Hello and welcome back! If you're wondering what happened to the original person, well, <laughs> that's because the script says so. Now, we'll be interviewing the villain of the film. Thank you for coming, Ray. No problem. I always dreamed of being these kinds of shows. Well, could you tell us about your role? My character has a name which is the bane of all people! Hmm, sounds interesting so far. His name is... Thursday. What? His name is... I heard you the first time. What kind of name is Thursday? Why is he called Thursday, of all things? Well, it's because Thursday is my least favorite day of the week, and it bodies everything evil. Right. So, you made the character yourself? That's right! So, what can he do? Any object he can hold can become a deadly weapon! So let me get this straight. Your character has the same ability that every human being on the world can do. Oh no, much different from that. He can use anything as a weapon, even if it's not pointy. Like this flash drive, or this roll of duct tape, or this cartridge of E.T. and Atari that I have in my pocket. That doesn't make any logical sense. Comic book logic in a nutshell! Okay, so you have a character with a silly name, with a silly superpower, and a silly movie. You dare call the great Thursday silly? You shall pay! Well, that'll be all, folks. I'll see you next week, and if you'll excuse me, I need to get to a hospital. Living in a world!